The Ipawash crisis occurred in 1995 along the shores of Lake Huron in southern Ontario and involved members of the Stony Point Band who in 1936 had a portion of the reserve expropriated by the federal government for use as a provincial park and that became Ipperwash Provincial Park. During World War II, the federal government expropriated the rest of the reserve for use as an army training camp and they forcibly relocated members of the Stony Point Band to a nearby reserve, which was Kettle Point, and they promised that the land would be returned after the war. But of course, the land was never returned. The Stony Point Band members were basically living as kind of second-class citizens on the Kettle Point Reserve where they suffered discrimination, they had poor housing, etc. So the descendants of those people always remembered that they were supposed to get their reserve land back. Of course, the, the land was never returned. In 1980, the federal government paid just over $2 million to the Kettle and Stony Point Band as uh, partial compensation and again promised that the land would be returned. And in 1992, a government committee called for the land to be returned to the Stony Point Band. And at that time, the members of the Stony Point Band served an eviction notice to the Department of National Defense. And in May 1993, about 30 members of the Stony Point Band uh, moved into a portion of the Army base where they set up a camp with uh, trailers and uh, tents and whatnot. And over the next couple years, they maintained that uh, reoccupation camp and there were some minor incidents and conflicts with the military. But the military was beginning to close down the base and began withdrawing equipment and personnel. And in the summer of 1995, the Stony Point band members entered the provincial park as it was being closed down for the season and wanted to reclaim that as well because that was not only a portion of, the, of their original reserve, but it also contained a burial grounds that the federal government was aware of back in the 1930s when they expropriated it. And as they began the, the occupation of the provincial park, the Ontario provincial government sent in the Ontario provincial police and wanted the, uh, the people evicted. And so the OPP began a major police operation. They had brought in a couple hundred police officers. They got military assistance, including two armored personnel carriers. And on September 6th, they sent in a riot squad to attempt to forcibly evict the people from the provincial park. But they fought back and they forced the riot police to uh, withdraw. Uh, but they came back later that evening, not only the riot police, but also a heavily armed uh, tactical response unit. And when the police entered into the provincial park, there was a band counselor from Kettle Point who tried to intervene to uh, stop the police, but he was uh, badly beaten by police officers. And at that point, um, a 16-year-old youth, Nicholas Cottrell, drove a school bus into the police lines in an attempt to stop the assault. At that time, the police opened fire and they fired between um, 1,000 to 2,000 rounds. They shot 16-year-old youth in the back. They killed a dog that was also on the bus. And at that time, uh, acting Sergeant Kenneth Dean shot and killed Dudley George. Even though the police had launched this uh, major operation, they had no uh, medical assistance on hand. So Dudley's brother, Pierre George, actually drove him to a nearby hospital, but he was uh, pronounced dead at, at around midnight. Kenneth Dean was eventually charged with criminal negligence causing death and during his trial the judge found him to be untruthful because uh, Dean claimed that he saw Dudley George carrying a rifle and that's why he opened fire. But even though the judge found him to be untruthful, he only got two years community service. And in uh, 2003, the Ontario government called an inquiry into the crisis. All these different documents came out and it was found that Premier Mike Harris, who was the Premier at the time of the crisis, had uh, intervened and called for the police to forcibly evict the natives from the park. In 2016, the federal government paid $90 million to the Kettle and Stony Point Band as compensation and to this day the uh, members of the Stony Point Band continue to live on the, the former army base which was their reserve lands. You know they basically won their struggle uh, even though there was uh, a lot of sacrifice with Dudley George was shot and killed. Where the fuck they at? Where the fuck they doing? We pulling heat on these demons, leaving everything in ruins. We bleeding them devils, even some rebels coming to ride. And we ain't moving, we shooting till every one of them dies. Where the fuck they at? Where the fuck they doing? We pulling heat on these demons, leaving everything in ruins. We bleeding them devils, even some rebels coming to ride. And we ain't moving, we shooting till every one of them dies.